Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. In this one, I'm gonna share with you my one minute scalping strategy that is based entirely on market structure. That's right. All you need is highs and lows and how to use them to know how to use them properly to read the market structure and what price might do next. Now, I'm going to explain to you this strategy with the help of a trade that I took today. And I shared that on my Twitter account. I shared the logic and the buys beforehand. Right? So, here's a trade. And I will show you exactly how I managed to take this trade. The logic behind it. The thought process. And everything in between. So, make sure to follow me on my Twitter account. Right? I share here daily charts with annotations and I'm pretty sure that you will find great value in them. All right. So again, before we start, this strategy is based on purely market structure. All right. I'm going to try to explain it in simple manners, in easy, digestible pieces. All right. I'm going to try my best. But if you want more details, you need to check Dave's channel. I'm going to put the link down in the description because these are his concepts. And I encourage you to go and check that out. Even if you are an ICT student, you might have, you might be afraid to switch to a new style, but I promise you that it's uh, all the same. It's Mark social, Mark social shift, change in the state of delivery, highs and lows. It's all the same, guys. But what Dave do is that he dives deeper and deeper into market structure. So again, if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave that down in the comment. His uh, channel and you can check his playlist. All right. So let's start with the trade breakdown. And for that, I need to show you something here. Because this is a basic understanding of uh, market structure. So basically, market structure moves like this. So this is very important before we dive deeper into the trade breakdown. You will see that we have a high, right? And then a low. Now, this low right here is only valid and we can call it a valid low only if price trades higher and close above this high. Now, when we have that a close above this high, this low is going to be valid. It's going to be validated and price in the downtrend, I'm sorry, in an uptrend should not violate this low right here or else we're going to have a market structure shift. So after that, we're going to have a pullback and then expansion. Now, after closing above this high, what I mean by closing, I mean the body, body closures. All right, body closures above the high right here, or else this uh, should not be called a valid low. So, for example, let's say this is only a week, and price doesn't, and price didn't close above the high right here. So, if we have right, so remember, these are only weeks. So. If we have something like this, which is a market social shift, but in reality it is not a market social shift because this low didn't create a new high. In order uh, to be uh, to call this a new high, we need to see body closures. But again, we don't have that. And so although we can see this and you can call it a market social shift, this is not valid and price can easily go to the upside. But this is a valid market social shift because we closed above this one right here. Right? It closed above the low. I'm sorry, closed below the low that created the high. Also, this is not a valid pullback. This is not a valid pullback because we don't have a new high. So all this leg right here is a one. You can call it and you can see it as one leg because this is not a valid pullback because we didn't put a new high so this is one leg 
and we traded below and we closed below the low that created the high right here all right and you can call this a mark session shift now this the low that created the high we can call this a strong low or a protected low right a strong low or a protected low strong low or protected low means that price on an uptrend should not violate this and if we violate that that means that we have a mark as a shift and again by violation i mean body closures below this one so this is a protected low and we violated that so this is basic market structure and you will understand better in the trade breakdown so guys after you understood how um, basic market structure looks like right let's transition into this um you can call this a pattern in price because it repeats right pattern mean that this signature repeats uh, every single day which is if price fails to make a new high or low with a full body closure expect the origin low high to get taken again these uh, concepts came from dave so check his channel for more details now what do i mean by this so as you can see we have an expansion higher here we have an expansion higher we traded lower this is a pullback but this is a pullback and this is a valid low only if we put in a new high and by a new high we mean closing above this uh, high right here and we do have that as you can see here so this right here can be called a strong low or a protected low in an uptrend price should not violate this all right we see it higher we put in a new high we start pulling back and then price starting going higher but as you can see here price failed to make a new high with body closure so these are only wicks all right now when you see this pattern right here when price fails to make a new high with body closure only wicks or even price doesn't have to wick so price went here and then traded lower and then reversed a mark shift and traded lower so expect this low to be taken so this is considered as a weak low because it didn't create a new high so price will often in most times will violate this low right here and will liquidate it all right so this is um how i got my um, bias on that trade that i showed you earlier all right i know this i spent a lot of time uh, explaining market structure but it is essential for you guys to understand the trade that i took all right so these are prerequisites and i showed you an example right here this is not the cleanest example but as you can see here price fails to make a new low right so the origin high that created this low right here which is this one is a weak high all right and price will reverse and take it and now let's transition into our uh, trade that we took right so here's that trade and i shared that before i even took the trade on the lower time frame I shared this um, picture right here, a screenshot of your USD on the one hour chart. So in our strategy, we don't need the daily buys, all right? We don't need the daily buys. We only need the one hour. Sometimes I don't, I don't even use the one hour. I use only the 15 minute and the five minute, but uh, it's good to uh, know where you are on the one hour time frame. All right. So for that buys again we don't need the daily buys so let's read the structure right here we have an expansion lower we have a pullback this is not a strong high yet it considered a strong high or a protected high only if we traded and closed below this low right here 
and we have that here. The, now this is a strong high and price in a downtrend should not trade higher and violate this high, right? So, expansion lower, put in a new low, I'm sorry, new high, right here. And then another expansion lower, trading below this low. So now we can consider this as a new strong high, right? We have a pullback, another expansion lower, trading below this low, closing below it. This is another strong high, right? And then check this out. After this expansion, after this expansion, price started trading higher for a pullback, right? And it went all the way to this strong high, but it didn't manage to make a new high and closing above this candle, only wicks. So, if we go to this uh, schematic, what is the next target? The low that created the high, right? So here we go. Where is the low that created that high? Which is this one right here. So we can consider this as a weak low and price should target this next. Now, in order for you to confirm this, you need a lower time frame market structure shift, right? In order for you to confirm that this low is the next target. And we do have that here. So this is a market structure shift on the lower time frame. As you can see, price is creating new highs and lows, right? Trading higher into that area, into that strong high on the one hour. We closed above on the 15 minute, but again, that's a one hour chart. So we use the one hour, all right? This is not valid. On the one hour, there were only wicks above that strong high. And what happens next? We traded lower and closing below the protected low right here. So this is a valid mark session shift. Not this one right here. This one is a mark session shift because this is the low that created a new high. So after this candle right here, you can expect price to trade lower. I know that this uh, seems maybe new to you or difficult, but believe me, it's a lot easier than it looks like. It's a lot easier when you go to your charts and collect examples. All right, so that's the buys on the one hour. I'm looking for lower prices into this low right here. I have the draw on liquidity. Now let's go to uh, our trade. So here we go. Price failed to close above the strong high. And what's next? The low that created the failed swing, which is this one right here. So if we go to the lower time frame and see how it looks like. And before we talk about the mark structure on the five minute, let me show you something. So when we have an expansion and then a pullback and then a new expansion, price tends to return to the area of that uh, previous swing point. The swing point is the previous pullback, which is this one right here. Price tends to return to that swing point and then trade higher and make a new high, right? The 50% area is very, very sensitive, right? So a lot of times price taps into that 50% and uh, trade higher immediately. Same as here, right? When we have a mark such a shift, price return to that previous swing point, which is this one in our case. Trade into that area and continue lower. Sometimes it doesn't even tap into that area when we have a strong downtrend or a strong uptrend. So sometimes it taps into an imbalance right here and then trading lower. All right. So on the five minute, what do we have? We have an expansion lower. We have a pullback on it. Pullback. Another expansion lower breaking this low right here so this is considered as a strong high and notice what price did here it returned to that pullback right it returned to that pullback into also this candle and then traded lower another expansion lower price start pulling back right so as you can see here we have another pullback and then starts going lower 
but this is not considered a strong high and this is not considered a volley pullback unless we close below this low right here this shouldn't be called strong this is only a low all right so this is a typo so this can be considered as a as a strong high only if we close below this low right here but we didn't have that so just like the one hour only wicks below this low and then price changed structure treated below this candle right here right so this is a change in the state of delivery so just like that schematic that i showed you before and just like the one hour where is the next target right what is the next target here this one right here so here we go price failed to close below this low what is the next target the high that created this uh, low which is this one so this is a weak high and price should violate that and that is exactly what happened and you might see this as a market structure shift but remember that this is a weak low this is a weak low and and it doesn't matter if we violate it because we still have the strong high which is this one right here because we managed to close body closures below this low right here we don't have that here so this is still a strong high and if price wants to go higher it needs to trade above the strong high with a body closure and remember that we are bearish on the one hour remember that we are still bearish on the one hour and we still didn't tap into that one hour weak low all right so with the one hour bias and after taking this weak high and remember this schematic price if it wants to trade higher right continue higher it tends to return to that area right here so price it returned to that area that last swing point right here topped into the 50 percent and then traded lower and this was my trade as you can see here and my stop loss was just about the strong high guys so don't um, be greedy and put it here for better rr or something right here if you want better rr you can wait for price to tap into the 50 percent and take your trade but i didn't want to miss this so i put it here all right but the stop loss it needs to be above the strong high because a lot of times price will tend to go all the way to here and completely reverse and that is exactly what happened to me here so as you can see this is another trade that i took today it was a loser i shared that on my twitter account as you can see that this is a strong high i'm not gonna break down the trade but this is a strong low i'm sorry price went all the way to here it didn't violate that strong low and then it reversed to my tp but the spreads took me out so here you have two options and this is a five minute time frame you can either enter directly when price stamps into this area for that weak low that hourly weak low or you can go to the lower time frame here right and look for a market structure shift so if you go to the chart so here's that five minute area right and let's look for a valid mark such a shift out of that area on the one minute time frame so here we have a market uh, we have an expansion price set it lower for a pullback we have another expansion and this is a new high and this is a protected high a protected low why because we managed to close above the previous high right here we have a pullback put in another project low because we managed to close above the previous high right pullback another expansion and this is not a mark structure shift this is nothing this is uh not important right 
This is the market structure shift. Price returned to an imbalance. As you can see on uh, here, it didn't return to that previous swing point. Right? For example, here, it went only to in this imbalance and then shifted lower. So this will confirm that this low will get taken the week uh, low right here. The one hour week low and it will confirm that and the one hour week low and it will confirm that this area uh, will push price to the downside. All right. And as a, and what happens in, and I want to show you something else. So after uh, taking that one hour uh, week low price failed to make a new low on the five minute time frame so we couldn't close again below this low right here right we couldn't close below this low so what happens we couldn't close below this low and we have a mark such a shift on the lower time frames so this is a change in the state of delivery so that makes this high want a weak high and we should target that next and as you can see here, now again, the Dow trend will change only if we take down the strong high. If we go to our chart, let's go to the five minute time frame. So as you can see that this, let's remove this one. This is a strong high, right? From earlier, price traded above this one. And price shifted structure here. So that is the song high from earlier. And price shifted structure after closing above this right here. And we are shifting from uh, bearish into bullish. So a lot of information to digest in one video. I know if you didn't understand and I believe it was uh, simple. I tried to make it easy. If you don't understand, uh, all you have to do is uh, rewatch this video. If you want more details about market structure, visit Dave's channel. I'm going to put it down in the description, all right? And study that playlist. So don't. Ask me what is a protected low, what is a protected high, how did you know? So, if you are interested, spend some time with that playlist. You will not regret, I promise you. You can even incorporate some of uh, the techniques there into your existing strategy and it will make it better. I promise you that it will make it better. So, I believe that this is the end of this video. If you have any questions, please DM me in my Twitter account or leave a comment down below. And I'll answer you as soon as I can. Happy trading and good luck.